Within the brief folders we removed in Hypixel Skyblock, there are probably a lot of questions regarding which accessory upgrade you should choose from. This guide is here to help you decide. Before we get started, I quickly want to mention that my numbers likely will not show the same numbers that you will be seeing on your profile. Just keep in mind that I'm talking from my baseline as a mid player. Also, our giveaway! Ooh, free money! Check out the description for further information. If this guide turns out to be useful, don't forget to hit that like button and consider subscribing so you won't miss any further more guides, tutorials and much, much more. Yet, with that out of the way, let's hit it! We start off with the starter powers. For tutors, pretty. Protected, simple and warrior. Let's break each one down to give you a solid image on which one is better for which scenarios. For Turidus gives you a good amount of strength, critical chance and critical damage. If you seek for the proper damage output, this is the one clearly for you. You will be rather fragile as it does not grant you a lot of effective HP and defense. If you got superior dragon armor or other armor that evens the HP and defense out, then you're good on the go. As your main and general focus is strength, Especially if you're going for the Crimson Isle. Pretty goes the same road, yet the critical chance is heavily reduced. Therefore, replace with intelligence, as well as a bit of speed added to it. I cannot necessarily recommend this set for people that seek after the most DPS, however, it is something for people that play mage within Hypixel Skyblocks dungeons. Just always keep in mind that you will be rather fragile, as it gives a way less effective HP and nearly no additional defense along the way. Protected is the one you want to choose for if you're struggling surviving, as it gives plenty of effective HP and defense. If you have a solid damage output, then you do not need to worry too heavily about strength and critical damage. However, your critical chance nearly does not change at all. Like I said, if you're struggling to stay alive, this is clearly for you, as you can still use pets to even the last three parts out. Simple is pretty much the middle point of everything we have spoken about so far. It grants you a recognizable amount of speeds, strength as well as critical damage. If you're sometimes struggling staying in life as well as delivering the right amounts of damage, give this one a try. Just always keep in mind that you can change your mind from it if you rather want to go for pretty or any of the others. Warrior is something for the ones that are able to survive outside and don't need additional HP. Yet, this is not the only thing as a warrior can be really useful for people from all types. Now, hear me out before you go wild in the comments. Defense and health roughly changes from the others. However, the other three parts are something I would not say no to, as it gives you plenty of warrior assets. If you play mage, archer, healer as well as berserk within dungeons, then this is likely the one you have already picked. Just keep in mind that your personal stats need to speak for the upgrade. This goes for the importance of which weapons you currently use. If you have a mage setup, your intelligence is likely within a thousand, give or take. If you're an archer, you likely can deliver solid amounts of damage already and can stay alive. If you're a berserk, your damage heavily increases, you likely also have a juju bow and a florid zombie sword. This upgrade is clearly for the ones that keeps you going. Just always keep your stats in mind, as my explanations go after my own experiences and experiments. Results could always be different for you. Let's break down the intermediate powers, as they may appear better than starters, as far as I can tell. Commando is a clear downgrade from the warrior power up, as it may look better because of the health, defense and critical damage. Your critical chance has to suffer heavily, meaning that you still pull out the same amounts of damage when hitting a non-critical hit, however if you hit a critical hit you will cause more damage yet the probability of this occurring is less likely to happen. My recommendation is to use this power only if your skyblock stats have already a good chunk of critical chances else I can only recommend against this upgrade. Disciple is indefinitely downgrade to the commando upgrade. It grants you a higher critical chance, therefore it removes the critical damage as well as the strength. Inspired is a downgrade to the pretty power. Everything I have said before goes along that line. Just make sure that you're able to stand out with your concurrent damage, health and defense. However, keep in mind that this upgrade does not give you speed and this is indefinite downgrade regarding damage and critical damage. Only use this if you have issues within intelligence. You struggle heavily with staying alive yet you are able to print off enough DPS, this is something for you. As prepared is the upgrade towards protected, giving you plenty of amounts of effective HP as well as defense. If you're fine with everything else in terms of damage, attack speed, intelligence and so on, this is something for you. However, I'd rather go for one of the upgrades mentioned before as this can be easily avoided within the usage of bonzer stuff or other mage and or archer weaponry. Without lying and all, I must say that Ominous is a really sweet upgrade if you struggle within your bonus attack speed, as it will attack way faster than without it. Combined with a pet that has the crutchet tiger plushie, you will receive half of the amounts of bonus attack speed 
feet immediately. Really good as well if your pet does not have the plushie. Additionally, it gives a good chunk amount of speed as well as intelligence. Just bear in mind that you will not receive any additional defense points, as Ominous is only upgrading your health, damage, criticals, speed and intelligence within. Could be something for the ones that are well off within their base and armor defense part. With the main plate out of the way, let's break down your accessory back magic power. If you hover over the map next to the edit function, it will tell you your accessories, how many you got of them and how much magic power it grants. You can also review your accessories right next to it yourself. As you can see, a single mythic accessory grants you 22 magic power, whilst a legendary gives you 60 magic power Epic giving you 12 magic power and all the good stuff down below. But remember that stacking accessories will not improve your magical power. The only thing that will fill up is your accessory back with talismans, artifacts and rings you don't even need. So get rid of the doubles beside the personal compactors of course. You need 9 of the same power stones in order to unlock their perks permanently. Let's have a go for an example. If you have 9 obsidian tablets and you have not reached the magical power level of 250, you will unlock its unique power of 150 HP as well as 40 strength. However, if you have accumulated a overall amount of 250 magical power within your accessory back, you will unlock its unique powers, including health, defense, speed, intelligence and the additionals within, as it will last forever. Not to forget, you can stack these, so if you have two different power stones, times 9, they will be forever on your profile, so I heavily recommend you have a go for them. Preferences exist however, and I will be breaking down the power stones in a separate video. And last but not least, you have the stats tuning, which again relies on your magical power level within your accessory bag. Here you can optimize your current setup. If you're lacking of strength for example, you can add your additional points onto strength, intelligence, health, defense, as well as speed and the criticals. With the left mouse button you can always remove the applied points and put them onto other functions. As well, and this is likely a relatively overpriced part, you can also save your current tuning template for 30,000 bits. I for myself can recommend highly against it, as this is the equal amount of 20 gold parts or 20 million storage expanders within Elizabeth. If you have only 20 tuning points to spend, I wouldn't see a reason for you to purchase one of those, as you can also just take a piece of paper and note your upgrades down. I hope this quick guide has helped you, if it did, smash like and hit subscribe for more, I shall see ya when I see ya.